7452 Edsworth. No driveway in the front, nor in the back. There is alley access, but it doesn't have a parking pad. So people are street parking. Not, a, not too bad of an area. Only can see that front part of the roof, which looks good. It's a flat roof otherwise. Walkway is in pretty good condition. A few minor cracks. Same thing. I mean, if you want to, I'm not gonna. Like, I'm not gonna. Go out. Are you gonna be out back? I'm gonna do a quick. It'll be real quick out back, but okay. I won't. I won't zoom in on you or anything. You can go out back. Okay. It's a living area. Let's go out back. The stairs. It's all plaster, but it looks in great condition all around this floor and the upstairs. This is a dining area. And the kitchen. Small. I'm just gonna show them the pad and the AC. Backyard. Units in pretty good condition. Basement. Ceilings are plenty tall to finish down here. It's either paneling or nothing right now, so it needs to be drywalled. Over here we got AC unit. Yeah, slap sink and a washer set up. AC unit, which is in pretty good shape. I think we could reuse this one. Ductwork looks good. Doesn't drop too low. It's I think at six six the ductwork, so a bulkhead would be fine. Hot water heater looks in good condition. Looks like we could keep it. And the plumbing looks good. All copper, from what I can see. Back exit, dryer vent hookup. The panel looks good condition as well as the wiring. It's a hundred, it's a double hundred. I still don't know whether that means it's 200 or it's 100 amps, but. And there's a sump pump back here, which it looks good enough to keep and or use. I don't know if it's up to date enough if we need to re-waterproof. And they got this as a toilet in here, plumbed in. No sink or tub, but it's the start to a full bath if we want to put one down here. The windows down here are wooden. They're the only ones I think we need to replace. All the rest have been replaced. And they're double paneled in decent shape. Upstairs. 
three beds and a full bath. Straight ahead, this is the smallest of the rooms. It's about seven foot six by, I forget, I think, I forget what they're, it's on the drawing. It's seven foot six wide though, so it's kind of skinny. Again, the drywall or um, plaster is in great shape. Has a closet here. Second bedroom is the second smallest or the second biggest. The middle. Besides the four wooden ones in the basement, most all the windows look like this. Some of them have different locks, but they're all double paneled and good shape. This room has a closet as well. And the last bedroom, the biggest. Biggest closet as well. And the full bath. The sunlight. And the tile looks in pretty good shape actually.